Our next guest, CV, is as impressive as her cooking. She's a former Miss Universe Ireland. She's about to release her third cookbook. She's done triathlons and hiked mountains. And best of all, she's from Tip. Welcome, Roz Purcell, to the Two Johnnies podcast. Hello, lads. Wait, hey. I'm Lauren. Hey. <laughs> well. Well, well. Well, lad. Are you enjoying being back in the Premier County, Roz? Oh, listen, I am. And it's a very uh, touchy weekend now with the final coming up and everything. So, uh it's good to be back. Good. Well, this podcast yeah. won't go out until after the finals. Oh, <laughs> oh I know, I know, I know. So, so yeah, like, we'll have won yeah, or lost. Oh, yeah, no, we're going to win, lads. We're yeah. going to win, yeah, yeah. Hope you're right. I, I feel hope. like I'm a lucky gem at matches. Every time I've gone to a final against Kilkenny, we've won. Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah. And she's going as well. Yeah. So. And but, then the one time we didn't go, we lost. Remember that time, like, about, what, four years ago or something? Yeah. Well, yeah. Care playing Lockmore in two weeks. If hey. you, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to come along and be a lucky gem. Right, can we ask you about, yeah. I guess it's almost one of your your main things, as we say now, food. Food, yeah. Where did this come out of? And all the farmers listening are going to ask straight away, are you vegetarian? I am, lads. I am okay, vegetarian. Okay, there's fellas shouting at the radio yeah. now. Like, get her off yeah, there, get fuck. Off. <laughs> and listen, I know, that's why Maura didn't even come down today. She, heard, she, was like, she was like, fuck her. I'm not even making the effort to come down. Um, but I did bring you in some treats. And you know what? I grew up eating absolutely everything like I my family really being to cooking and about two and a half years ago I just kind of got to stage now I was the biggest carnivore you've ever met really yeah oh I really was like cave woman <laughs> like I, I definitely like I definitely was a cave woman in a previous life um and what turned you off me well I went to see an abattoir <laughs> oh yes yeah and it was yeah. a dark day and I also had the abattoir they gave us loads of meat <laughs> and like I went ham on the meat like no pun intended like ate everything and it's like so I like don't like leaving food in my plate because you know, think of the kids and <laughs> I, <laughs> gotta think of the kids guys <laughs> and I actually got home and I had such bad meat sweats for like a full day and I had like so I was so lethargic and I was like water <laughs> and, and I actually never ate meat again what yeah yeah turned me off a fully like I think I was before I went there I was kind, kind of come to the stage where I was like leaving it on my plate I was cooking it but I wasn't really enjoying it anymore um and I'm not one of those people I didn't watch any of that shit on Netflix about you know yeah like oh, all that kind like of baby baby chicken. I didn't and like all. brainwash myself. I just really went off it and uh, haven't eaten it since. Okay, so it's not for like environmental or health or anything. Well, I guess like you know, I am very much trying. I do try to be environmentally conscious. Um, so I think you know, if you're being environmentally conscious, you could lower your meat consumption. You don't need to stop mm. completely. Um, so it's a that, little bit of that. That mad Leonardo DiCaprio documentary, lads. Did you? No, no, see I the one didn't. he made with the He's so beautiful. Was it the beach? <laughs> <laughs> I saw the beach. You probably watched the whole documentary yeah. you just watched the capture yeah, yeah. I didn't, didn't realise I actually was watched on. it I didn't know what he was saying though <laughs> watched it with the sound off yeah, yeah. yeah but then I guess like there is other elements I don't I don't get into it too much because I don't ever be that person who's like mm. I eat I don't eat meat like you shouldn't eat meat like eat whatever you want like eat yeah. what makes you happy because food is such an enjoyable part of life but I think being a little bit conscious about it, there's no harm and I think everyone you know just kind of I think we all know now like not to eat as much meat yeah. and I think even with my food blog and my books Everyone in Ireland knows how to cook their meat and their two veg mm. and potato or, or whatever it is. Everybody. Whereas when it comes to vegetables, people are like, I don't really know what to do with it. I'll just boil it or steam it. Or like, you know, your parents just roast it. Just and cook it till it's mush. You just eat it just to tick a box. You yeah. go, I ate my veg. Whereas like, I'm creating books and recipes now where it's like, look, this is how you're going to make veg actually taste delicious. Mm. And enjoy it. Because it's one of those things where we are plate when we go to eat whatever meal. We look at our protein first and then we just look at everything else that goes around it. Whereas like you should probably look at your plate now and just go, okay, I'm going to start my veg. What am I getting in? And then put other things around it because we just don't eat enough. Okay. Well, I'm going to pick up on something. You recently yeah. made ve vegan goujons. Yes. <laughs> What? That's sacrilegious, like. What? <laughs> I actually, you know what? If only for the fact that, like, you know, when you're, like, all my cooking stuff is in Dublin, I was going to make them for you last night. But, like, you can flavour anything. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's the flavours that are in your head when it comes to eating something. So, like, basically, like, if you get chicken goose on a chicken nugget from McDonald's, what's the flavour, really? You don't know. Because <laughs> you don't know. That that might even be chicken inside there. Yeah, but you get, like, get the ones from the townhouse deli in Clamell. We're getting really specific good now. Chicken now right. yeah. No, all you have to do is like you just create flavour. So like you get tofu, you blend up loads of different spices and stuff that might be in the chicken already, like herbs and stuff, and then you just get a really nice crust going around it. Yeah, so and this you, is your vegan goujon is what? Yeah. Tofu? Yeah, tofu. 
I'm and right. I have a bit of quinoa. I have loads so of Where are we spices. going to get quinoa in Tipperary? <laughs> Come on. Because <laughs> you can get that stuff everywhere in Super Value and yeah. everything. I got on Super Value, you know. Yeah. I used to work there, Ross. Yeah. I can't Listen, be only asking yeah. for that. Like. <laughs> okay, on. so what else is in the vegan goujon then? Um, just loads of herbs and spices and like a barbecue sauce. So I make like homemade barbecue sauces and stuff. Um, so it's actually not that hard to do. I'm going to send you the recipe and you, I'm going to like challenge you to make it. Okay. There you go. Yeah, there Cooking you go. with the two Johnny. Do you, yeah. think, do you think you could be swayed, Max? Yeah. To, yeah. Do you know what? I, I give it a try. Like to me, I kind of think of tofu and I'm like, oh. If I've seen that on the <laughs> oh. menu, I'd be like, ah. oh, what is it? What is it? If someone tried to hand me tofu like three years ago, I'd yeah. be like, that is disgusting. That's just cubes of nothing. Like, I'd rather, that's like eating plastic. But now, I guess I'm like, oh, I, I know how to cook with it and I experiment yeah. with it. Like, oh, my right. dad, ex beef farmer, right? Oh. Yeah. Only probably eats meat once a year now if he's out. What and happens to have it? Does not eat meat. What at have all. you done to the man? No, he <laughs> no. So people think that I he's the one who changed everyone in the family. Oh, so yeah. he was the one who started one year and was just like, I really, really want to try and eat more vegetables and just try being plant based for a while. Now it was very suspicious because <laughs> I was at home doing my driving test. So I think it was like him being like, "You're gonna have to cook me now for a few weeks because like." I want to be plant based so he got his way and I ended up cooking for him and I think by me just kind of making different things and you know yeah. like he would never have touched tofu but like I taught him how to make different things with it he always eats plant based at home now so he actually changed all of us in the house and he would have been the one who would have been the beef farmer wow, I wonder could we cool. try it for a week yeah what is, what is tofu is that soy made from soya yeah it's made from soya but like you don't need to use tofu you could use like chickpeas beans like all the veg like I think people when they think plant based they think of like all the generic things like tofu yeah. and like all these things that like you know a bit weird but like there's things that you have every single day that are plant based like sweet potato oat um, I was going to say eggs they are not plant based <laughs> <laughs> they are not plant based oh man, I'd be big into falafel now yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I like yeah. hummus. I just eat that for a whole week. Yeah, yeah. hummus. <laughs> yeah, four times a day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tub of hummus. Yeah. <laughs> um, but people, like especially people in Ireland, I think have a mad relationship with food. Like we spend a lot of time on the road, yeah. and the delis are hopping, the goujons, the jam bonds, oh, the breakfast yeah. rolls are still king. Yeah, Roz. and look, that's all grand. If that makes you happy, eat that. But like you know, when you're at home and you're cooking your own dinner, just. You know, yeah. I think a big thing is cooking from scratch. And there's loads of people at home. I think there's a whole generation that just don't know how to cook. And like, did your mum and dad teach you how to cook growing up? Yeah, I don't yeah. know, Mick. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Tell her and why. Like, and like, <laughs> <we> learn. <laughs> I can't cook Roz wow. What yeah, see, oh, okay, no, Everyone listening Lauren's a good years Younger than us She's at least yeah, Four years yeah. younger So that's the generation We're talking about The kids Lauren The kids They never Lauren, learned How to cook Lauren You're going to have to Join yeah. like The ICA Or something yeah. anyway, Sort but, this out But there's a change now Like you can go into A deli now And you'll see a grown man Eating a salad <laughs> Yeah There's a change Do you there see There is it? a change I think people are just Becoming really conscious Now that like what you put you what you put into your body is actually really important. I know we love like breakfast rolls and things like that. They're delicious. Yes, they are. But, like can't have you having them every single day either. No. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 no. And say your cookbooks, you brought out Natural Barn Feeder in twenty thirteen, which yeah. we tried to try the recipe off of last night. Oh we'll, 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 we'll get on to that before we finish. You can you can rate our balls or <laughs> not tell a balls, they're they're not, you know. It's not that kind of podcast. But you've got a new book coming out. I do, yeah. It's called No Fuss Vegan. Um, and it's just basically if you want to eat more vegetables get it and I would say it's actually really it's not targeted towards people who are plant based it's targeted towards people who just want to eat more vegetables or learn a new recipe because it's really easy it's packed full of foods that we eat every single day really accessible ingredients um, and it's tasty Mm -hmm. and I think the whole thing is I test all my recipes on meat eaters okay because I do think that like um, well everyone around me is a meat eater like my sister my boyfriend uh, her boyfriend so like I would test all my recipes on them because I think if you're testing them on vegans I think mm. we have developed this palette of like palatenesses wow that, <laughs> that, that palate is yeah. incredible yeah it? well this vegetable is so crunchy whereas you know you need to test it on people who are like used to eating like yeah. you know like pull like lamb I know yeah pork and vegans stuff. are used yeah. to eating shite I know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're eating the grass and stuff in the field <laughs> no, we're, only jo- we're only joking we wanted to ask you about your podcast yeah um, and one of the big things you were talking about it on it was the body positive movement mm-hmm. what is it <laughs> um, well I guess okay obviously you know I don't think you even need social media for it but growing up we've all grown up with magazines and things like that and I think there's this, this ideal image that society pushes of what a perfect body is and that's just 
bullshit because mm. everybody is different um, and I think that perfect ideal body you know women kill themselves to get it we diet yeah. we exercise um, we sacrifice so much and we feel bad if we don't have it and like what is that ideal perfect body it's like one in a million women have it yeah. and probably not even maybe naturally or not naturally um, and I guess it's kind of breaking down that stigma you know um, and I think a lot uh, a lot has to answer with traditional media because growing up uh, in magazines now if you see a woman's arse it's perfectly smooth uh, would you turn off your phone there that's actually it's, Maura <laughs> <laughs> she's like she better not be shiting on about being vegan <laughs> no tell Maura we're talking about women's arse yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then it must be weird then say, like where's the line in that the body, po- body positivity thing is to be what like to kind of accept and be okay and to be happy with who you are is it um, or, well I think it's a whole thing of like body neutrality where it's like, you don't have to go around loving your body. I mean, like, I love every part of my body. I love all my shirts. It's just like not getting so consumed about it that yeah. you're like killing yourself. Do you know what I mean? Or hating yourself. Like, like there's so, I think a lot. Okay. So I would have dealt a lot with disordered eating and a, a huge part of that was just feeling had a lack of confidence in my own body and like not being able to go on holidays, not being able to wear a bikini actually having such bad anxiety about people seeing your body. Really? And over what? Mm-hmm. Just because it's this whole perfect image in society of what a body should look but like. But you were a think. model. Yeah, but I think that almost... And I, a lot of people say, did that put more pressure on it? I really don't think so. Because like I grew up you know, with idols like Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and they looked like flawless. Yeah. I think in society in general, we, we have this thing where we just constantly compare ourselves to one another. Is Instagram responsible for that? Um, well, look, traditional media had it too. Yeah. I think Instagram is just the new form of media. Um, I do think there's a lot of people on social media who airbrush the shit out of themselves. They edit themselves to bits. <laughs> yeah. So like, that's a disgrace. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. like, I think it's very unfair because there's a lot of young girls growing up thinking that, oh my God, I should look like that. Like people fucking have pores. They have veins in their legs. Like I see some people's legs. And I'm like, I have fucking shitloads of veins. Do you know have veins? Like how do they airbrush that out? Yeah. Or like don't have, like, not everyone has stretch marks, but if you do, like, it's grand. Like, it just shows you grow, you grew, like, or you had a baby, whatever it is. (laughs) Cellulite, they're all such normal things, but we just don't see them in a lot of people's posts because they airbrush them out. And look, if someone wants to do that, look, leave them off, do that. But there's a whole generation that are growing up with this absolutely brainwashed, warped vision of what their body should look like. There's a lot of young women now, we see it, like, putting up bikini pics on mm. Instagram and it's like they're just in the backyard yeah okay so I had this conversation with someone like fair play if someone's put up a bikini photo I'm like have fab girl you yeah. look great whatever you want to do um, but I do think I do think there there is also a time and place like if you're on holiday like we're all you know, you're yeah. running around your bikini is a, you know you're in your bikini or if like you're by the sea or if you're putting on some fake town whatever it is Um, but look at uh, if someone's putting up a photo in their backyard in a bikini it's a bit like out of context yeah look we live in Ireland or whatever it is but at the same time fair play Yeah. look you know I'm not judging what anyone else does and I think that like if someone wants to put up a photo of whatever as if they're not harming anyone else yeah. who, who gives a shit but it's some change like I mean that would have been unthinkable 10 or 15 years ago yeah but like it's the same for men as well like men oh. men are like men would be body conscious but like if I put up a photo like you can be sure someone's like he's lost weight or Jesus he moves well for yeah. a big man yeah <laughs> Yeah. It's like you know, I I can actually see those fucking comments. Like, you yeah. writing them. Like, I think when people leave comments like that, they just don't ever think that you're gonna actually see them. See them it's yeah. like they're they're typing in this group chat mm-hmm. that you're not even in, and you're mm-hmm. like, I'm gonna see that comment down there. And like, you can never make people happy. Like, I constantly get messages of people being like, "You look so much better with with a bit of weight on," or people being like, "Are you trying to lose weight? Like, you've lost a bit of weight, but you're body confident." And I'm like. In the same day with the same photo, and yeah, I'm like, yeah. God, you're messing with my mind here. <laughs> my fucking oh my god, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just worry about like the effect that it's going to have on young people, I suppose, young women more so. I think, I think with social media, there is this whole thing. If you look at like the girls out there with millions and millions of followers, they probably live in Australia or Bali, and every single day they're in a bikini. So then other girls think, like, that's how I'm gonna probably grow yeah. my following is being a bikini now that's in the backyard in Bancha, like. <laughs> <laughs> Here, dad, hold yeah, the camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's actually great at taking Instagrams. Yeah. He's fantastic. Yeah, he's really good. He's dad's patient of saying, yeah. yeah. Um, but so, uh, yeah, you're right. Like, there is a bit of a concern there. But, like, look, think, they're not harming anyone. Yeah. Who gives a shit? True as well. It, yeah. it, it, it's, it's just as bad for men. Like, and as well, like you said in the podcast, Instagram, social media is becoming a dating platform. Put yeah. your best foot, foot forward. There you go. Yeah. yeah. The, the one for lads is um, festivals. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Lads I go to the festival. I'm like, I'm like, 
all these lads are jacked. Like, yeah. I mean, they're all walking around with their with matching shirts and yeah, shorts, shorts with the shirt open and the chest shaved. And it's like they're walking; it's like blowing in the wind. And I'm like, whoa! <laughs> it's like fucking Chris Hemsworth coming in. I'm like, these all these lads. Where are they getting their bodies from? Where do they live? We went to all together now, and it was lashing rain, and there was a fella in a matching short and shirt combo, like, and he had like the bandana and the hair. Yeah, with a fanny pack going across. Yeah. And he was yeah. ri- like the fanny pack was just rippling through a six pack. Yeah. <laughs> That is impressive. He no. needs to go drink 25 cans and fall <laughs> yeah, down. Yeah. Like, that's a festival. Yeah. I do actually think there's a huge pressure on young guys to have a certain body type as well. Like you look at young girls, like we have this pressure to like have a tiny waist and be really slim, but then have a big bum, big, big boobs, arse. like yeah. fucking hell. Um, but then guys, they have this huge pressure to have so much muscle and be yeah. ripped. Yeah. And you're like, that's almost even harder. Cause like, what are lads taking to even get like that with steroids and everything? You know? Scary, yeah. Do, do you mount lads out there now taking steroids? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Do you sound like parents being like, did you hear about that? There's yeah. <laughs> lads taking steroids out there. The young, yeah, now. The young fella to Halloran's is taking and, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The young girl in the shower, she's putting a bikini photo in the back of the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, we were talking about Instagram and yeah. um, you recently broke a lot of hearts. You put up a photo of your boyfriend. Yes. And uh, do you think about that, about putting him up or not putting him up? Or? He's really private. So if ever I'm going to put up a photo, I'd be like, it's okay if I put up that photo. And usually he's like, no, no, no. I'm like, it's gone, it's gone. (laughs) But like, I only put up a photo of him like really rarely because he is really private. And I think, you know, you have to kind of respect that. Like he's on Instagram, but he's private and he doesn't really post. Um, But no, like I think majority of my followers are females. And they are just kind of there as like, I think a lot of, I have people on my profile who are older, who are like my age or who are mums. And then I have a lot of younger girls who mm. I think they look at me as like a big sister because I give loads of advice. Yeah. Yeah, not the best, but it's advice <laughs> all the same. <laughs> but um, yeah, what's your thoughts on, we've been debating this, like I wonder mm. if I had a girlfriend, would I put her on Instagram or yeah. like... I think, right? So I went through a phase before of being on Instagram. Why are you winking at that? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be on the front page of the mirror now. <laughs> right. She's laughing. <laughs> um, so, oh lads, I'm still back here. Okay, I'm on, Jane. Um, so, focus, uh, focus, oh, Ryan, oh, focus. Oh, oh, focus. Um, so I've obviously been in a relationship before where like put loads up online and then it breaks up and then it's fucking everywhere. Yeah. Like, oh shit. You know, you're like, oh God. Yeah. But then I was like, I won't be doing that again. But then I went out with Zach for a long time and you get to a stage where you're like, oh, I want to put him up because I look at my social media as a bit of a diary and I think it's a bit weird then if I'm going out with someone for that long and they don't appear. Mm. It's like, oh, yeah. why is she hiding there? Like, why is she hiding it? Is she... Yeah. It's a bit weird. Do you get me? I put a picture up last week of um of my other half and I've never been as nervous putting up a picture in all my life. I just sat at home and was like... <laughs> I think I'll take it down. <laughs> I think, and then I, think, I was like, I can't take it down. Then people would be like, what? yeah, what's oh the my story God. You couldn't take that down. I'd be like, what's the story with that? Why did you do that? Yeah, yeah. She didn't want me to put it up anyway. So <laughs> you know what I mean? She's like, take that down. Yeah, but now it's, it. now it's done. Yeah, it's done know, now. It's yeah, done now. Yeah. yeah. You've yeah. broken all the hearts. To anybody out there, we're going to set up a phone line that you can ring. <laughs> yeah. If you're if you're if you're distraught from there, the news. And I'm there and I'm on it, giving yeah. advice. Ross is going to be on it, giving advice. Yeah, I'm going to be giving advice. Do you wonder or do you keep it in mind say like that if you're given advice like people oh so like, I only give advice from my own personal experience like I'd never be like guys this is what you should do I'd be like look I've been in that experience before and what helped me or what I did because you can't be like I'm at the same time I'm not like psychologist or psychiatrist yeah. here either do you know what I mean so I just give more like advice I've learned along the way which I think is okay. the only yeah. advice anyone can really ever give because you'd be surprised time. like there's people out there like who oh really listen to what you're saying oh no sorry I think I'm saying that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there is, there is people going to say. I feel like there's people out there who give all this crazy advice. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 there is. There is big time. That big too. time. Um, you, like you are an influencer. Like you really influence the people. You see, I never looked at it like that, and I think it's almost like. Well, sorry, influencers become almost like a bad word. Yeah, but I just mean that like people really listen to what you say. Yeah, I guess like you know a role model. I would yes. say. Yeah, like loads of girls. Like I'll get so many DMs off girls being like, "Oh, I'm after going through a bad breakup. What should I do?" And I'm like, screenshot every ugly photo of him, keep it in the folder. <laughs> and, when, and when he gets sad, go look at the folder. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> I love that advice, Roz. You're obviously from Tip, and I mean. Does anybody be slagging you over your tip accent now? All the time. And I said to Maura, because I met her at the late late the last time, and I was like, I'm waiting for it now. Once I get off the late late, Twitter's just going to be like, I don't know what. I didn't know one word that Marka <laughs> girl said. And like, I got a message the last time in the, off a woman, right? A woman who has kids. I can see in her profile being like, my father and I were watching on the late late. We both couldn't make out anything that you said. And I was what? like, 
go back to England, will you? <laughs> <laughs> well, fuckers. <laughs> no, I was like, I actually replied and I was like, imagine if someone wrote that to one of your kids. Yeah. And she was like, oh God, sorry, I didn't think about that. I was like, yeah, you didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> no, I think you have a very neutral yeah. kind of accent. like. Yeah. yeah, but I think when I get excited, I talk fast. Well, can you still do a real Clamel one? like? Oh, well, when you hear my dad and I talk together, then I'd understand if no one could understand us. Okay. Because we both just go off into like pure... Wait, what, what does he talk like? Oh, I can't understand my dad sometimes. Going into ta- <laughs> go into town. Town, like where? Well. Oh, no, no, like, no, he'd be more... No, I wouldn't say we'd have a Clamel accent. We're more like Kilsheelan. Okay. I'd yeah. like to make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> the Straight posh out of Kilsheelan. Yeah, yeah. The posh side, lad. Yeah. <laughs> Straight out of Kilkesh. Um, and I have to ask you about hiking. Yeah. Can you... You're like, always out hiking. Try and sell it to Johnny Smacks here. The man hates no. putting one foot in front of the other. Listen, <laughs> Johnny Smacks, but I feel like you're big into Love Island. Yes. So I feel like I, well, I actually love Love Island too and I liked your it's weekly randoms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, not the same okay, thing. Okay, you've got me, Ross. You've got me. <laughs> you got me. So it'd be like, we could put on our bikinis, right? Start from Banch to town and just go on a walk. <laughs> we can get our bikini photos and hiking photos and then catch up on Love Island, you know? Done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, time, I give look, me the time I look at hiking as one of those things, right? Like, I grew up uh, like at the foot of Steve Mann, so I always was into hiking, and I think it's something that's really good to get off your phone. Because look, let's be honest, you've yeah. no reception down here, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you're you're out in nature. You kind of no matter what's going through your head, and if you're bad mood, you kind of forget about it. Yeah. And just in general for your well being, like if I ever feel a bit lost or down, going on a hike, getting into nature, nothing better. Mm. Yeah, Lauren, you do a bit as well. What sends you up the mountain? Um, I wouldn't have ever burying bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> but um, as you, as you were talking about there it's kind of getting away from the madness of yeah. the world and then the views are insane what's mm. your favourite hiking route in Ireland Come she gone yeah yeah, yeah I love Come she gone I think on a good day you can't beat it and it's like blows everything out of the water because you go up and you have that really amazing view of the lake and you can do the horseshoe go the whole way around and back and I just think that I think as well like it's close to home for me so I, I really enjoy it so if anyone wants to look it up it's just outside Rathgarmach in yeah, County Waterford there's no path so people are like I couldn't find the path I'm like there's no path you just there's the top and you just go for it but it's tricky yeah it's tricky enough yeah it's that's why it's good there's no one ever on it so yeah. it's one of those walks you can do and you don't really run into that many people whereas if you do other walks you kind of yeah. you know going up the escalator in St. Stephen's Green Shopping <laughs> Centre <laughs> Stephen's Green Shopping Centre is probably a, probably a push now for me. Max, do you think... You- yeah, no, I, I will go. I will go. Like- I'm going to go on your first hike and I have... My dad has no cow prod at home. I'll bring it to you. <laughs> <laughs> but you've set up the hike life, like, yeah. which is a whole community then yeah. that you all go hiking together. It's like... I always try to tell people I'm introvert and they're like, you bring strangers walking with you. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm not. And you don't so go to the pub afterwards or anything? No. No, no, nothing like that. No. Oh, just walking. Just we go for a long hike, and it's actually great because at the start, I kind of started inviting people along with me because everyone's like, "I want to go on a hike," but I've no one to go with, or I'm afraid to get lost. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. "They were the Dublin people." Anyway, <laughs> and uh, I'm only joking on my Dublin friends. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, it's actually great because loads of people arrive, and you just have the chats with random people, and they're all really sound. Everyone's just there for the same reason: want to go learn a new trail. And then the thing about it is, I always constantly get like tagged on Instagram of people going back to do that hike with other friends being like oh I brought my friends to do it now that yeah. I know it so I'm like that's what's all about I know, I know girls and stuff that I used to work with and stuff and they've went on the hikes like, and they'd be the type that would never go on do yeah. something like that Like, so I suppose it's getting Man, getting think people moving the yeah. crazier social media gets the faster life gets people yeah. are looking for that give me a break give me yeah, a window yeah, yeah. here oh yeah, yeah big time um, your dog I have to ask you about your dog <laughs> like, John, so yeah <laughs> like, it's literally I think that's a bit I was going to bring him today but then like I have to go to the wedding obviously so I yeah. can't bring him to the wedding so, <laughs> so you bring, yeah. him, bring, him, he, bring him to the yeah, yeah. Shop, <laughs> along. he's a big part of your Instagram oh huge yeah where did the name come from well his so, so it's, it's spelled W-I-L-L-A-Y yeah so originally his name was Wilco okay so I had just rescued him and I got an email off someone something Wilkinson and I was like oh Wilco cool name for a dog I've yeah. never heard a dog like that but then sure like after a day it was like Wilco Willie <laughs> <laughs> and then I, he's just always been called Willie oh that's class yeah. that's class um, it, it comes into a little like so I live in Dublin and I live just beside a place called Vico which you can go swim at um, and I always bring him down with me in the morning and I get into the water and I'm like swimming and I could see him like looking for me he's like where the fuck is he gone and I'm like Willie Willie Willy but <laughs> Vico is a Just naked. Come around the corner then. No, Vico is a naked swimming spot. 
what yeah so I'm just there being <laughs> <laughs> I've had to I've had to remember that because I'm like oh fuck can't be just screaming Willie and everyone's butt naked like there's all old men down there has morning. anyone seen Willie because <laughs> yeah. I'm in the water I'm like Willie Willie I'm over here Willie and then I'm like oh fuck like there's like at least three naked lads up there do you know what I mean so, yeah okay. oh like I've learned so much about like obviously I'm not looking at them yeah. but like you know when you're just walking down and I'm like wow it really shrivels up doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> like we're never going <laughs> Roz where can people listen to your to your podcast and stuff um, oh up. everywhere you can listen to podcasts like Google mm-hmm. um, Apple and what are the other ones you call it Bite Back Bite Back Bite yeah back. okay and your Instagram is Rosanna Personal cool and can we give you the quick fire round yeah go for it sweet potato or regular spuds regular spuds Regular tea or green tea? Regular tea. Shaggy or Puff Daddy? Shaggy. O'Gara or O'Driscoll? O'Driscoll. Guinness or Smittix? Guinness. John Lahey or Pat Fox? Pat Fox. Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Dermot The Rock O'Sullivan? Oh, uh, Dermot. <laughs> Jack Black or Mary Black? Mary Black. George Clooney or Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt. Larry O'Gorman or Martin Story? Martin Story. If you had to date one of the Johnnies, which one would you pick? You. Hey! Oh, <laughs> but oh, I'm over here. No, it's only because it's only because we could go on long romantic hikes together, and you're you're going off, and you know you've yeah. a girlfriend and stuff. Now it's yeah. public. Great. Do you know what I mean? You're taken. <laughs> you're yeah. taken. Good answer. On yeah. that yeah. highlight, we we'll wrap it up. Sorry, Lauren. Sorry, I don't know what's going on here. This <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh God, I don't know. That, I don't know. that came across the yeah. wrong way. Oh my God. Thanks a million, Ross.